¿Sí? un saludo especial para la gente hermosa de Canadá. Muchas gracias. Desde Cali, Colombia. Allá está haciendo frío, aquí no. A toda la gente beautiful de Canadá. You people, I love you forever. Hey, you from Colombia. Hey, bye bye. Get the right away. All right, now this is looking pretty cool. This reminds me of uh, part of the area in Guadalupe. Very interesting. Might be a little difficult for you to see because there's a lot of brights and darks. Hopefully there will be a few clouds rolling though. So the light will be a little more even for my photos and video. Buenas empanadas, damas y caballeros, ¿cómo estás? Welcome to La Cueva del Choco. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I'm here at this cave near Gambita in the Department of Santander, Colombia, and trying to get a, good, a few good photos of this spot. Sometimes the cloud's giving me a break and I can get some decent photos, but right now it's, uh, as you can see, a little bright. So hard to get photos. But we'll look back this way, you can see a little bit more of the cave. But anyhow, we'll see how the day unfolds. I think we're going to walk all the way through the cave. I don't know what the other uh, opening looks like, but I think that's what's happening. And um, yeah, we'll see how the day goes and hopefully I'll get some decent photos and if I uh, do, Maybe I'll include one or two in the uh, video. So at the moment, a little less harsh light, which has been good for getting some decent photos, but as you can see, the camera does not like the opening. It's uh, super bright, even though it's uh, a lot less intense light, but the uh, people are slowly but surely doing the, their repel. And as I get a little closer to the opening, it's a, it's a little better to get an idea of what it looks like. I'm trying to get some nice reflections here in the water for some photos. That's a pretty cool spot. I'm trying to get a few different angles for you. As you can see, it's the, uh, the pale ale color of water here, which a lot of people don't find very pleasant, but 
Whatever, it is what it is. Okay, here comes one of the repellers and she's a little scared. <laughs> Say, take care, take care of me. But she's doing pretty good. And here she comes for the landing. As is often the case, a lot of people will get all freaked out before and during, and then they'll get to the bottom, and then they'll be going, oh my god, that was so much fun, and they'll be wondering why they freaked out. <laughs> upside down repel trick. <laughs> this is one of the guides by the way, not some uh, regular person. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> and a slap on the butt for his effort. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and a slap on the butt. Here we go. A tocarla tanto, la roca está ahí un color más blanco. So he's saying that uh, when people pass by, they put their hands on this thing, and then it makes the <coughs> the rock turn to a different color. I guess it's the acidity of our of our hands. Vamos acá encontramos las la estalactita y la estalamita. Pues, se puede apreciar mejor. <laughs> Estos que vemos acá, esos son estalagnatos. Uh -huh. Los estalagnatos es la unión de una estalagmita y una estalactita, entonces acá está como tal formada la columna. Interesting how the columns do a twisting motion. Bueno, interesante. You might be able to see we're coming to the uh, exit of the so-called cave up ahead here. Even more interesting down here. Oh yeah, that's, that's a big one. Grande. Toma, acá en esta parte ya encontramos los murciélagos. En esta cueva existen tres clases de murciélagos de 1300 que existen en el país. Entre ellas están los fructíferos, que son eh, murciélagos que se alimentan eh, obviamente de frutas. Están los insectívoros que se alimentan de insectos. Y están los hematófagos que se, eh, se alimentan de sangre, de especies domésticas, vacas, caballos y los animalitos que se dejen picar. kind of cool on here. Water coming out of there too, so forming these little pools. Se le llama la fuente de agua de vía. Agua de vía. Interesting little canal up here.
think the group has gotten bigger. Well, that becomes the miners. Que las minas. <laughs> Probably really hard to see, but uh, a bunch of the group are jumping in the uh, little creek part there. I'm surprised that it's deep enough. taking photos when the, uh, the people were diving on the cliff over here, but, uh, oh well. Just coming outside now. Get that data. And nombre de este pozo. No, no tiene nombre. Pozo de Tomas. I officially name this tool after myself. Pozo Tomas. And I didn't know we were going in a, a second cave. But I guess we are. It's kind of cool. I think I just got some decent photos. Moments of the uh, sun getting obscured by the clouds. So now I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiny little opening right in the middle of the screen there. I like this jagged, this rock here. Almost looks man-made, doesn't it? I mean, it's so, uh, it almost looks like there is blocks cut. Does it not? I think so. I'll have to ask them. Very slippery. Again, it's amazing how smooth the roof actually is. Very the orange, the little orange pit. I don't know what that means. I'll have to ask them about that too. Maybe it's something to do with iron. As I make my way back out to Pozo Tomas. My guide's still awake. You know, I could definitely take some cool photos in here, but I'll keep going. <clears throat> Wow, this is really uh, cool. You see light ahead. And 
we are. Another pretty spot. But I don't have much battery life in my camera. <laughs> yeah. The good camera that is. Beautiful vivid green colors. Some interesting formations up there. Definitely a beautiful spot. Another beautiful spot. Just telling the guide that this is definitely more beautiful than my expectations. And there's even more beautiful area down here. Beautiful mini waterfall. That's even gorgeous through here. Now I'm now I'm just really just playing. I don't have more uh, battery life, but who knows? Maybe, just maybe, I can come back tomorrow again. Funny, they don't really have autumn down here in this country, but they do still have some uh, yellow leaves that make it look like it's autumn. Yeah, I think this place needs to uh, be more on the map for other people because this is just gorgeous. Wow, cool. Thank you, everybody. Pero no tiene muchas fotos de esta parte, esta parte y no sé, ¿no? No, espectacular. <laughs> yeah, I think they need to uh, show more photos of this area and promote it more. It's, uh, I think this area here is actually Nicer than uh, some parts of the first cave, for instance. Beautiful less green wall. Good spill back there. Too bad I didn't record it because it was uh, actually quite spectacular. There's a better, clearer shot of the hills. what you get for lunch here in Gambita. A little different from yesterday, but typical rice and uh, pechuga, that's pressed chicken, yuca, a little carrot and lettuce salad, I guess, and then there's a little dessert. 
and then a uh, nice delicious mango juice and we already had the soup. All right, so the tour just officially ended, I guess you could say. Let me give you a breakdown of the costs and my overall impressions. Uh, first of all, the costs, will go over that. To basically have a private guide, I wasn't sure how things were working out at first because I was going with the group, but I was presuming that once we got there, I'd have my own guide. And that is what happened. So that all worked out good. And if I was with the group, it would have cost me 90,000 pesos, which is uh, only $30 Canadian. And, but to have a private guide, I paid uh, 110, 110,000 pesos, which is about $38. So without a doubt, that was the way to go paying for the private guide because I was allowed to go as quickly or as slowly as I wanted to. And as per usual, the guide didn't rush me at all. And so that was great. Took my time taking photos. In fact, I ran out of battery power, which kind of sucked at the end, but I got most of my photos. So yeah, it's 110,000 pesos. And that included transport there and back. It included the lunch that we just had which the value of that lunch around here that was a very loud quad <laughs> yeah I was gonna say lunch yesterday cost me 12,000 pesos about four dollars so if you subtract the 12 pesos from the 110 basically looking at 98,000 pesos for a really good tour and uh, transport there and back so they're all all the guides are really good very friendly so I definitely recommend Gambita Aventura Natural if you uh, come to Gambita and as far as the actual place itself I was actually Pleasant, very pleasantly surprised at how beautiful the spots were. If we break it down, the first cave, I, I didn't think it was that great, the opening of that first cave. It, it was not bad, but nothing too spectacular. It kind of reminded me of uh, the, the cave at Paramo, which wasn't overly impressive. But then as we got into it, <coughs> the, uh, the end part, the exit, was really nice and then I had no idea there's going to be a whole nother cave and the uh, second cave was actually really really nice I really liked it lots of really beautiful photo ops there I mean and then the end they don't show any photos for some reason of the end of that uh, the excursion and uh, they might want to do that because it's beautiful. So well worth the price of admission. I highly recommend that you uh, come to Gambita and do this. And uh, I think that's about it. So I guess I'll sign off and say I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, remember, there's no you in Colombia, but hopefully you can find yourself in this beautiful country someday. So until next time, hasta las tacos. Ciao.